Hello, it's Jakob from Flamingo Fixed. This is another Road to the Unknown vlog. It's about one month until the race starts. I'm going on an endurance ride to Berlin. The weather here, as you might see, uh, doesn't look brilliant. It's really warm. At least in Leipzig it's supposed to be raining later in the afternoon. But in Berlin it's not. And tomorrow or the day after I will go back. I think the route I picked is about 200 kilometers long. And I have kind of a nice tailwind so far. Maybe more of a sidewind later. Let's hope we can escape those dark rain clouds above and behind me and unfortunately also in front of me. definitely been raining here there's a few drops coming from above but the tarmac is kind of wet right in front of me there's super dark rain clouds I don't know I hope I'm more or less right around them but what is this fucking psychopath This is so stupid when the cycle paths for no reason cross the federal street like two 90 degree turns right now it's not so much traffic on there but this is so stupid why do you build it like this makes absolutely no sense anyways the tarmac is wet the sun is behind me instead of in front of me where i thought it would be in front of me it looks like this um, so yeah, I will get kind of wet, I guess. The first half today is a bit annoying. Uh, a lot of Federal Street or sometimes cycle paths next to it, but it's still loud. And as I showed you before, sometimes you just randomly have to cross them. This right now is a really nice uh, street through the forest. That's cool. The sun came out. It's dry again. My bike is dirty. I am on my Vinea Maxima rim brake road bike. That's the bike I will most likely use for the unknown race. Same as last year. I made a couple of changes to it and I'm riding it for the first time today with the new parts. Different wheel set, wider tires, electronic shifting. So far it's pretty nice. I mean it has always been a super nice bike. And I think the upgrades really make it a notch better even. I have 120 kilometers to go. I think I will have to go back to the Federal Street now and then the second half should be nicer until I reach the city and then it's 25 kilometers or something of city traffic, which will be really annoying. more than 100 kilometers now so maybe 90 to go the streets in the last hour or so were really nice I mean not always of course but mainly really good quality with not much traffic bit of cobbles here and there a bit of weird villages that I had to cross now I'm on this super nice path here in the forest I hope it stays like this seems to be kind of new i guess one and a half hours of daylight left so about 45 kilometers in the dark maybe almost there basically three hours to go okay i think i have maybe 35 kilometers to go um, i just had a flat tire a puncture I patched it real quick. It's more or less dark now. I have the lights on and I think I will enter the city soon and then it will be probably around 20 kilometers or even more city traffic. 
let's see. After my flat tire, it was basically only annoying city traffic and it was dark, so I didn't film anymore. Two days later, yesterday I spent the day in Berlin. Now I left the city, I'm entering Potsdam. There I will have breakfast with my sister and then do the remaining 140 kilometers back to Leipzig. Potsdam did the first 50 kilometers for today. It's around about 170 or maybe 175 kilometers for today. Um, first part, a bit annoying again, but then it should get better. I'll just take the, the shortest route that I know. I had breakfast or more of a brunch now. Um, it's 2.30. I have about four hours until the sun goes down and then I would also like to be home uh, because I want to be home for dinner and yeah let's see we have to hurry up a bit wind is coming mainly from the side let's try to be fast I have done a bit more than 90 kilometers now two and a half hours until sunset I guess I should be home by sunset I had to change clothes because the puffy jacket was too warm weather is a bit strange um, the wind is coming mainly from the side and it's kind of cold but it was too warm for the puffy jacket now I'm wearing this rain jacket that's fine my hands are a bit cold but again it's too warm to put on the gloves that's the problem with early spring in middle Europe you never really know yesterday in the morning it was 13 14 degree or something then there was a short shower and afterwards it was like six degrees or something super cold and this can happen anytime this also might be a problem for the unknown race in austria or starting in vienna this year i don't know where it's leading us hard to prepare for once again it is still a month to the race so maybe it will be a bit warmer but at least the sun is out today that's really really nice it's sunday afternoon the streets are super super empty here for most of the time there's a cycle path next to the street anyways but still if the street is full it's annoying it's loud every now and then you have to cross the street or go on the street and like this it's super super nice and enjoyable here okay let's go 75 kilometers to go see you later Okay, about 35 kilometers to go maybe 45 minutes of daylight left maybe I get to the to the outskirts before I have to turn the lights on it's getting colder now I had to put the gloves on but I think for the last hour now it will be fine like this okay then let's hurry up finish this ride for today and see you later this was my ride to Berlin and back, I think 370 kilometers. A good test for the bike with the new parts on. And that's it for today. Another week on the road to the unknown. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up and see you in the next video. Bye.